Welcome! This video is going to show you the most effective way to shiny hunt these roamers on a single system. There are two roamers to choose from in Pokemon Crystal, three in Pokemon Gold and Silver. As of right now, I'm the only person to hunt with my method, and the only person to complete Gen 2 roamers and Crystal roamers. I've done the method for just under 2000 hours, and I can firmly say that it's about 13 encounters per hour. Now, before we get onto the method, I will talk about some questions that are commonly asked. What are the odds of finding a shiny? The odds are 1 in 8192, and there's no way to boost this. When is the shininess of the Roma determined? It's determined on the first encounter, which is actually different to every other gem. Can't you save and keep them on your route, or can't you just keep going back and forth between two routes? No and no. And what do I do once I find a shiny Roma? The best thing to do is always to run and save. If you run and save, you basically guarantee that you can't fail the Roma. Now onto the hunt setup. Firstly, you need to play to at least Blackthorn on one of your games. You need to ensure that you don't encounter the Romas that you plan to hunt. Um, and the reason that you need to play through to Blackthorn is because it unlocks max repels. I recommend that you buy 10 of them and then place them at the top of your bag. You need the Romas registered in your Pokedex. So the most common way to achieve this is to actually trade them over from another game. But there are other ways, we'll talk about it a little bit more later. And lastly, get in position at Mahogany Town on the bike with max repel and save. It's also optional but you can use Pokemon March during this hunt so I'd recommend that you pick that up at Goldenrod. I chose not to use Pokemon March to limit menuing but you may find that it's quicker. Continuing on with hunt setup, it's important to consider how many Romas you'll be hunting. If you're just hunting one Roma, then I recommend that you pick up a Gengar and KO the other Romas. The reason that you want to do this is so that you won't lose encounters mainly, because if you flee from a Roma, or if the Roma flees from you, then they will all move positions. It also guarantees that you won't phase if you haven't encountered the other Roma. If you're hunting multiple Romas, then I recommend that you pick up Master Balls for the same reason. Master Balls allow you to end the battle, so if you have multiple Romas on one route, you can still encounter them. I recommend Master Balls either way in fact, just for the peace of mind, because they allow you to verify that the stats of the Pokemon are re-rolling and thus the shininess. More for the hunt setup? Let's look at the party Pokemon you'll need. You'll need a Pokemon with Surf. Kerodabra for teleporting. Abra is easy to obtain, you can either catch a wild one or buy one from the game corner. And you'll need a Pokemon to sleep and mean look. So probably a Gengar, since it can also use Nightshade and Weaken. Raikou has a maximum speed of 109. This means you need at least 98 speed to guarantee an outspeed on Raikou with the 9 8 Shin Badge bonus. This badge is picked up naturally on the way to accessing the Romas. Also note, Jinx has access to Lovely Kiss, which is more accurate than Hypnosis. I should also mention the Raikou has Quick Attack, so don't panic if it does flee once or twice. If you don't want the hassle of trading, you can get a Jinx from the Ice Path, it will come with Lovely Kiss, and it will learn Mean Look at level 35. Um, but here's the party I used most recently for Suicune. You can see the Kerodabra at the front. There's a Raikou in the second slot. This was used to weaken the Roma. And there's a Jinx at the back. And there's also a Gyarados in there for surfing only. The Abra only has to be at the top of the party for easy access to teleport. Also note that the Pokemon behind Abra that you're repel tricking off of has to be between level 20 and 40 to encounter the Roma. When talking about the method, it's important to understand how the roamers move. There are two modes of movement, adjacent route shifts with a chance to randomise, and guaranteed randomised shifts. You can see the conditions for both modes of movement. I've highlighted the conditions that are essential to this hunt. What you see here is the most important image, 
for my method. This shows you all of the routes that are viable. If you load the game up and there isn't a Roma on any of these routes, then you'll need to teleport until there is. Here's an example of a Roma that is on one of the routes. So in this situation, you would move out to the left side. She would cross a route boundary and hopefully it will coincide and move onto the route with you. When performing this method, you will only move onto the routes to the sides of Mahogany Town. The red marks in this image represent Roma shifts required to get onto the route. So, as you can see, there's only one shift every time you move out to the sides, but there are two going to the north. This is because of the gatehouse that leads to the Lake of Rage. You'd have to go through two doors, which means two shifts. On this image, you can see the route boundaries. So move out onto the highlighted section and check your Pokédex again to see where the Roma has moved to. So, here's a few gameplay examples. The first thing you do is check the Pokédex. Up north, that's the best spawn. That means it could dip either side. One in two to get this, but we go to the left because you don't have to surf that way. Um, I believe on this occasion it goes to the right, the other side. Um, which means we can double back, yep. Because we cross two route boundaries. One out. And one again here. And I think we get the spawn this time. Yep, there we go. So what happened there was it jumped to another route and then jumped straight back onto it since we crossed two route boundaries. Surf's up. And I think we get this encounter fairly quickly. Easy peasy. Just like that. So here's another scenario, um, I don't think we actually get the encounter on this one, but I'll talk you through it anyway. Apologies about the wonky screen. So check the Pokedex, it's always the first thing you do when you load up. And where are they? Raikou. Is way left. Entei is directly to the left, I believe. Yep. So, again, in this situation, we show preference to the left side because it's a lot quicker to get there. So, you'll have a lot of scenarios like this where you could go either left or right. Um, as in, one could move on to the left, or one could move to the right. If they're both on to move to the same point, then happy days. So, I just teleport away here, but in hindsight I'd probably consider actually going into the building in Mahogany Town. Just re-rolling the spawns a little bit. Sometimes that can be quick. So here, I'm hunting an Entei with Shiny Raikou still roaming in the wild. I wanted to keep it in the wild for a bit, um, but I just want to show you guys the value of having Master Balls once again. This is the same clip from earlier, so as you can see, Entei was on the route. And we're just looking for that, but we run into the Raikou in this situation. There we go. So now you're about to see us Master Ball the Raikou. This guarantees that the Entei won't move routes. Because if we allow the Raikou to flee, or if we run away from the Raikou, it'll move. The Entei will move. So, there we go. Master Balled. And now you should see us get the Entei encounter relatively quickly. Simple. But now I'm going to readdress how to get the Romas in the decks. To register the Romas in the Pokédex you have these options. The only legit way to do it is to trade with another system, otherwise there are two exploits. You can use the coin case glitch which is quite lengthy and I will add a link in the description below describing it, or you can game shark them in. 
I traded mine in, however, so we'll be focusing on that. To trade a Roma in, you'll need to play through another game and catch the Roma without the Pokedex. Here I'm going to talk to you about how to do that. So get to Ecritique, beat the gym, this should take roughly 2 hours. Then trade in your capture Pokemon, it's important that you have beaten the gym because that allows Pokemon up to level 50 to obey you. Um, here's a few tips along the way. When you're at Goldenrod, I suggest you get the coin case and buy an Abra or trade one in. Buy 10 repels and an escape rope. And pick up the radio so that you have Pokemon March available. Also grab Rock Smash off of this guy. You need it to release the Romas. Once you've done all of that, I want you to go to where the Romas are, put a repel on and save before you release them. As you can see here. So in this situation, you're going to see us bike. As soon as you've released the Romas, you need to go to Route 37, which is south of Ecruteek. You can either bike out of the tower, or use an escape rope to get out of the tower. If you use an escape rope, you get a high proportion of Ente. If you want to encounter the other two, bike out of the tower. You're best off doing this in gold or silver. So you'll see here, we get a Raikou encounter. There we go, that's quite quick. Note that we use Pokemon March. That really increases the encounter rate. It allows you to do this with standard repels as opposed to using max repels and all of that jazz. So as you can see, this will get us the Pokedex entry. Scrolling, scrolling. There we go. Raikou. As I just mentioned, you can also exit the burn tower with an escape rope. In gold and silver, this will give you a high proportion of Entei. In crystal, it's never worth doing. Here you can see us using the escape rope. In the next graphic that I'm about to show you, you'll see the chances of encountering a Roma for the different variants of this method. I've highlighted the best chance to encounter each Roma in red. Note that Suicune is static in crystal. You can also shiny hunt the Romas using this method, but it isn't as effective as mine for a single system. So, to catch these, I recommend that you go to Cherry Grove and set up in the same way that you would for the Mahogany method. Keep teleporting outside Cherry Grove, and check where the Roma is. Then move out onto routes hoping that it coincides, so here you can see me getting an Entei encounter. This was just me testing the method out for a little bit and proving that Mahogany was faster. So in Cherry Grove we got 8.5 per hour, we got 85 in 10 hours, versus the 13 that I consistently get from Mahogany. So here you can see us get the encounter. Um, catching these isn't too bad, not as bad as you would expect. It's pretty crucial that you have a capture Pokemon and that you sleep the Roma. As you can see, even at full health, using a Pokeball, as long as it's slept you have about a 5% catch rate. This is versus taking the Roma down to 1% health and using Ultra Balls, that only gives you about 2%. So as you can see, sleep is a massive factor in catching these. If you're playing through in this way, you won't actually have access to Ultra Balls anyway. You'll only have access to Great Balls and Pokeballs. But it doesn't change too much. I also want to go over the scenario where you have an old game file. First check that the Romas have been released. In Pokemon Crystal, they're released as part of the story. In Gold and Silver, they're released optionally. So go to the Burn Tower, check that they aren't there anymore. So, assuming they've been released, you'll need to encounter them in a different way to the way I just showed. So for this, take an Abra, Max Repels, a Pokemon between level 20 to 40, and ensure that you have the radio. Go to Violet City, go in and out of the Pokemon Center to register it for teleport, and save the game. From here, you're going to head out left to Route 36. And on Route 36, you are search for the Romas. So put on the repel, ensure Pokemon March is on, and then you're going to be going through the grass about three times. Then you'll go south through the gatehouse, 
make sure you go right through because you need to go through both doors otherwise you'll get locked into a cycle and they'll avoid you. Each time you come out you have to make sure that Pokemon March is back on then go through the grass again. Just keep doing this over and over again occasionally throwing in a teleport. This may take some time but you will encounter them eventually. If you run out of repels then just reset your game. Well that just about rounds this up. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it was informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Also remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch as well if you want to keep up with my Roma quest. We've still got 16 more Romas to hunt at the time of speaking. I'm going to be doing Latties next in Ruby and Sapphire. Um, but hopefully in future a lot of people will use this video to participate in the Roma week that I want to start. This will basically just be a week where everyone hunts Romas. I think it'd be really cool. But until next time guys, peace out.